Good morning, you're on the air. Oh, hi. I was just curious, is it possible to get a worse camera angle? Like, could you possibly get it where it just shows the small of your back? Oh, yeah. So you're t- now you're referring to our Facebook Live. That's what I think you're, t- you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, I'm just doing the cold open for the not even a show. Well, it, it's uh, it, the problem with the Facebook Live is that we're stuck in portrait mode. I can't get it into landscape mode, but uh, but I'm not I'm not sure who I'm talking to. What, what I'm just doing the cold open for the not even a show. Can you just say, hey, let's start the show? Yeah, I don't know what show you are referring to, so I, 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 I I'm, I'm not going to play into whatever this is. Okay. This is. interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you a program that's not even a program hey everyone it's me it's chris james it's not even a show i've got a time machine as many of you know and i usually use it to just basically go back in time and fart around and have fun and make everybody laugh but i thought to myself why don't i actually use it for a good reason you know i'll go back to the day before 9 11 i'll save everybody's life so that's exactly what I did. I'm here right now, except for it's 2002. I made I, I knew it was the beginning of 2000, but I was mixed up if it's 2001 or 2002. So I'm in I'm in September 10th, 2002, and everyone's just kind of sad getting ready for the one-year anniversary. Anyways, there's nothing sad about this week's episode, as Techhead Terry calls Tom Gully, plus we check in with Sebastian Gorka's call screener. First, though. We knew that it was time to put an end to the J.J. McCartney shirt bit. You know, we had done it for so long and it finally ran its course. And that's why this week we decided to call Jack Alexander about his shirt. That's right. We've got a new shirt boy and you're about to meet him. Although you did meet him last week. Anyways, check it out. And let's not forget that whites were indentured into slave-like conditions long before the blacks were and long after that. Now, let's find out who this caller is. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Jack. Thanks for taking my call, sir. How are you today? I'm doing well. Who's this? Uh, My name's Peter. Hi, Peter. Welcome to the show. I'm in Vancouver, Washington. Oh, thank you so much. Um... Yeah, I love, love what you're doing. Love your shirt as well, i got to say. I'm not sure if you know the significance of that, but your shirt is wonderful. Okay, I didn't... I, it was just a polo shirt that I picked up at a... at a, uh, a, a clothing discount place. Uh, you know, there was a scene one time in an, in an action film where Arnold Schwarzenegger walked past the rock and sort of passed the baton. And I sort of imagine this call in this moment as that same sort of moment as I tell you that you have a nice shirt, sir. Okay. Okay, so... You know what I mean? You have a nice shirt, and and this is the dawn of a new age. Okay. And your your shirt is nice. Okay, thank you. So what, what, what would you like to talk about apart from my shirt? Nothing, just your shirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you having fun. Thanks. Bye. That has to be. I think that has to be the 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 the, 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 the caller that's come from the furthermost north. Uh, actually, that's, actually, that's the second. That's the second call in recent times. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me, oh, you, you know, you're moving to Texas, Jack. You'd better learn to speak Spanish. And I keep saying, no, I refuse to, to learn to speak the language of the illegal alien. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Who's on the call? Who's on the line now? Hello, you're, on the, you're on the air. On the air. Hey, Alex, this is Bill. Hello, Bill. Welcome to the program. Thank you. 
What would you like to talk about? Well, I had some things in mind, but seeing you on the stream, I can't help but uh, comment on that that shirt you have on. Uh. That is a cool shirt. Okay, my shirt is cool. It is. It's a cool shirt. Um, what do you think about that when I... Is that, is that like... Get you angry when I talk about it a little bit? No, but it doesn't exactly fit within the. It doesn't exactly fit within the format of the program. What if I? What if you picked up the phone and I was just like, "Shirt." Sure. I don't. I don't. I, I, I would hang up on me pretty quick. I don't see the relevance of Something my. Like that. I don't see the relevance of my shirt. Uh, you're not okay. Um, what if? <laughs> Um. <laughs> uh, what the hell's with my shirt today? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, obviously, um, <laughs> Hump Day is going to be a strange one. Uh, Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Not even Hump Day. Oh my goodness. Okay. Strange. I guess it was a matter of time before people started messing with 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 with, with, with the show. Oh, I don't know. If somebody wants to tell me the significance of the shirt, please type it in the chat or send me an email. Well, you're the shirt man now. You took a JJ spot. We will call you every week till your head gets hot. Well, you're the shirt man now. You've got big shoes to fill. And although you've got your feet inside them, there's some room in there still. But you're the shirt man now. So please don't let us down. It turns out Jack Alexander isn't really our new shirt guy after all. You see, when I was looking through some of his footage, I found him saying some truly, truly horrific stuff. And we had to deal with them in a different way. You can check that out over at the Patreon. But right now, let's check out as we check back in with Sebastian Gorka's call screener, who famously called into my Twitch show and completely embarrassed himself trying to defend the honor of his boss, Sebastian Gorka. We decided to call him and check in and see how he's doing and see how he feels the call went. Check it out. America first, what's your name? Hey man, what's happening? How are you? Good, what's your name? It's me, your friend. I know. I was just going to put you on hold for a while and act like you're getting through. That's why. That's a smart thing to do, actually. I was curious. It's coming up on the end of the year. A lot of people are picking your phone call to my Twitch stream as one of the great moments of the whole year. I was curious if I could get some feedback. What were you thinking when you called in? What was your game plan? This is with Sebastian Gorka. Gorka first. What's your name? This makes you look way worse, you know. What does? Like just avoiding it, like me asking you the question and you refusing to nope. answer it. I couldn't answer it then. What do you want to know? I want I want to know what was what were you thinking when you called my stream? What was what were you planning to do? What was your game plan? You haven't stream? gotten on since then, have you? Yeah, I have a bunch. What do you mean? I I really can't talk now though. You, you want to talk to me later, but I really can't now. Not What's the show. Phone? I'll call you after. What's your phone number, cell phone? You've got my email. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Techhead Terry has been trying to recreate the true magic that was his call with Tom Golly, but he's had no successes. None of the other hosts have taken to him the way Tom did. That's why he decided to call back and talk to Tom again, but it really, really went sour this time. Check it out. Chris James says, why don't you answer phone calls anymore? Chris James, 
We do answer phone calls. Now, if you're going to make me, make you look just a little bit silly. Huh? 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 What's that? Oh, why don't I answer it? Hi, is this Hi. me calling? Hi, is this me calling? I guess it is. I guess it is. Now, if you're going to make me look just a little bit silly. Dummy. Come on, Chris James. Chris James says, did you block my number? I don't know. If you called in and did something stupid, I might have blocked your number. Oh, here we go. There you go. Hi, and welcome to the Tom Gully Show. You're on the air. I think he must have blocked that guy's number or something. That's why he can't get through. <laughs> goofball. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's easy. I, I, got, I got through first try. I first try. Well, you know, he must have a problem with his tech or something like that. He's not figuring his tech out. <laughs> <laughs> or or maybe oh, or maybe he he's not calling at all and is just he's having a charade a charade he's he's a ruse. That's possible as well. Do you I... recognize my voice? I'm your I'm your old friend Terry who we, I called it and we talked about tech before and it was uh, just about the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Are you the guy that when I asked where you were calling from, you hung up? There was another guy that was, I, that was really into what microphone and what interface and stuff. And we were having a good that tech was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. And even here, you, you say it. It's like it reminds me of the conversation we had. And listen, Tom, I've called so many other shows since. Yeah. And everybody's like, what, what do I don't care about what you're talking. I don't care about it. Shut up. And then I just always remember back to the day we had together where we talked tech. And it was and you were so into it like I was. Remember? Yeah. yeah well, there was another guy recently. It's not you. That was asking me about all of it and was really getting it was me. It was, no, no, there was another it was guy. Me. No, there was no, it wasn't. Why are you so stupid? It was me. But he went, okay. This yeah. is getting this is getting way too. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to give that out and hug. Yeah, that was me. Well, why did you that do me. that? You don't have to tell me. I got your area code. But you, know, but you were just getting a little bit too. What I felt like, to be honest with you, if I can be honest with you, Tom, I felt like you were maybe taking this stuff like, oh, this guy's into tech. I'm into tech. Maybe we should. Maybe we're gonna, you know, uh, uh, start some sort of pen pal relationship where we're chatting every day. And I don't no. have time for that. No. I don't have time for it. I flat out don't have time for it. I love tech. You love tech. We have that in common. We can have these well, conversations on your show, but you got to stop. You, you can't hassle me outside of the show. Don't take this personally, but... Mm. I'm a little bit busy myself. With the show that's on seven networks and three continents and... The notion that I would call you back is is a little far-fetched. The only reason I asked where you're calling from is because sometimes somebody would say, I live in Toronto. I would Stop n- trying to figure out where I live by saying, oh, I don't Toronto, give a sh- stop I don't doing give it. A f- what you're doing right now is, I don't is not cool. Care keep it on where the phone. I just want to keep it on the phone. I and don't I keep care place. where you live. Specific. I really just don't care specific. where you live. Yeah, it's oh, it's not oh, a tech yeah, show. Sure you don't. Look, yeah, right. you can it live wherever you want. It's a tech show. When I'm on it, it's a tech show. Do you understand? Everywhere I am, it's a tech show. No. It's always the Tom Gully show. It's never the Terry show. Ever. Not even for a second. No matter where you live. Not even a show? No. It's not the Terry show ever. Bye. See you. Don't ever call again. And now... Now I'll block your number. How about that? How about that? Hey, I'm going to prove to you, Terry... I'm going to prove to you, Terry, that I really don't care. I'm blocking I'm blocking your nut. Everybody loves something in this world, and there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not hurting anybody. I say love away. Whether it be a beautiful woman or a good attack. And so Terry's calling, you know what's next. This man don't care about drugs or rock or sex. 
this is a man who only loves one thing. So folks, let's get ready to talk some tech. This is the story of Terry Tech Head. Calls in on topic, but then talks tech instead. He's only one time seen the news. And he just asked what kind of cameras that they use. This man loves tech. All right, everybody, that's the end of the episode. And thank you so much for watching. And I do feel a little bit guilty that I wasn't able to stop 9-11. Maybe I'll be able to do it next week. I don't know, but I am quite busy with other stuff. I have other plans with the time machine. So I don't know, I might, I probably won't get it done. I'm not going to. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to do it. Anyways, check out the Patreon. It's a wonderful Patreon episode this week. The aforementioned Jack Alexander nonsense. You're not going to believe what you see. Also, PD Putt is back, plus... Papa John calls in to our pals at LRN.FM. You guys are great for watching and thank you so much. And don't blame yourself for 9-11. I'm not going to blame myself for it. Or for not stopping it. Bye.